Good morning, Modern Studders. This morning, we're going to be putting together our concrete countertop desk. First, we're going to, I'm going to show you how I finished off the top. And we're going to have fun installing it and surprising Gina with the finished project. Some of you might be surprised, but I'm not going to be using an epoxy, like the bar top epoxy that we used in the composting outhouse. The reason for that is we don't care for shiny surfaces. That's not the look we like. And I can't find an epoxy that is flat. So what we're gonna be doing, I'll probably take quite a few coats, but I'm willing to sacrifice the time to get the look we want. We're gonna be using a triple thick polyurethane with a satin finish. We're gonna have to put it on thick, fill the crevices, let it dry, and just keep working on that process. But I think overall we'll be happier with the look of the concrete countertop. And that's what we're going for. We're going for something that we appreciate the look of. Somebody else might not appreciate it. That's okay, you might want to do it a little bit differently. That's fine. I say go for it. So I'm gonna stop by applying a light coat into all of the crevices. Let it get in there, sit and dry. And then that way when we keep adding more, it won't keep sinking into the concrete. It'll have a base to sit on and to fill. Concrete is porous, so if you set like water on it, it's just going to absorb it. So my goal is by putting a light coat in, it'll seal the base of it and the next coat will fill it even more. It goes on like this milky color and it dries clear. Don't you step in it. Better stay away, mister. Hope I don't have to sand out any Figaro paw prints. You never know though with that cat. There's the first coat. We'll let it dry. Then we can sand it down with 220 and put a second coat on and see how many we need to add. You can see in a few spots it's already dried. And the spots that are heavier, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but that'll still dry within probably two hours. It's the next morning and it has dried. So now, it's looking pretty nice. It's not completely filled, but it's a good base to work with. Hey, what are you two doing? I'm using 220 grit 3M wet dry sandpaper. I want to sand it and get down the high spots and the brush marks. Now I want to make sure it's all smooth, but the back part up against the wall is not as important. We're most likely going to have a computer here, so I'm really going to be finicky and fussy up front and where I think we'll be writing. We got the foreman on the job. Once it's all sanded, I just want to take a cloth and wipe it down and get all the dust off, especially out of the deep crevices. I like to store my brush in a Ziploc bag, that way it doesn't harden and I don't have to keep getting new ones. Reapply another heavy coat, I'll let this dry for a few hours. Set up nice and good, and I think the next time I sand it, I'm going to wet sand it. Now 
Now I'm going to let this dry. When we come back, I'm going to give it another sand and we'll see what it looks like. So now that that coat is dry, we're going to wet sand it and put another coat on. I'm using our 220 grit sandpaper. This time we're going to use a little bit of water. The water makes your sandpaper glide a little bit and it makes it last longer because it's not getting all plugged up with what you sit the material you're sanding off. We also don't want to let it sit too long either the water. Now that it's all sanded, I just want to give it a good wipe down how you want to help. Make sure we get all the water off the top. Then we'll let it sit for a few minutes, dry. We'll put another coat on. After my final sanding, I'm gonna spray it down with a glass cleaner. And just wipe it off, make sure I get all the residues off of there. And then we're gonna put our last coat on. Some Figaro to help. Uh, that looks nice. I'm happy with that finish. Pass. Figure out. Olivia. Ready? Yep. Do Need to redo all that because I forgot to push record. <laughs> What do you need a towel for? Just in case we got Actually, it's going to be perfect. Because this is going to be that yep. side. We can just lower it down. Ready? Yep. Looks like he's no. trapped under there. No, yeah. He's not. 
Yeah. Are you playing? Yeah, for dollars. Are you always playing? Good. You're always playing. Yeah, we would have. You're always playing, mister. Alright, I'm home alone now. Gina and Olivia are out are at a Valentine's Day party they're hoping to put on. My friend left. Thanks, Nick. You were a great help. Now we gotta get the desk all finished, put together. File cabinets. We got a new chair. Pluto. The other file cabinet somewhere. We get it put together. <clears throat> I want to get some clear silicone and just fill in. It's not really a big gap, but to the wood, it's a little bit of a space, and that's going to be a pain to keep crumbs out of. So if we can put some clear silicone on there. There's Mr. Figaro, always getting into stuff. He loves boxes. Let me know what you think about the footage from today, of right now, when we were bringing it up. I'm using a new camera. Our 70D camera, eh, I broke the audio jack back when we were building the outdoor kitchen and the audio has been funky so I've been waiting. I purchased a Canon G7X and we're doing all of our shooting on this so we can send the 70D in to get fixed and then we'll have two cameras because believe it or not I do all of the shooting on one camera right now so now we'll have two well when we get the 70D back. So let's get this put together. I found the other cabinet. Get it all put together and Gina can figure out if she likes it or not when she gets home. Be able to have it all stored up. The nice thing about the stops I put in is you're not just pushing it in it's going to get all cockeyed. If you push it in solid, it hits the stop, it levels it all off. That's just nice. We used the pink ratchet strap. Thank you, Bill. Came in handy. Pluto, do you like the pink? You ignoring me, huh? What's the matter? You're silly. I think I have some silicone in the house. I don't know if it's still good or not. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Fingers crossed, <clears throat> it's still good. It is. Now let's try to figure out. I think we got more than half a tube, so we should have enough. It is nice and level, but it fell right in a nice V groove of the pine, so we're going to have to mask that off.
This is what we're going to use to smooth out the silicone and give us a nice finish. Hopefully we have enough silicone. Perfect. <clears throat> we had more than enough silicone left over. Put the cover back on it, save it for next time. Alright, now with the desk all put together, we get to surprise Gina when she gets home. It came out nice. The silicone filled in the crack, crevice, whatever you want to call it nicely, so we don't got to worry about stuff getting in there or when we're cleaning. I like it. Want to come see your desk? Yeah. Okay. It's all put together. Ooh, pretty. I love it. Watch out, I put silicone in the crack. So it's still. That's so when you gotta clean it, the crumbs don't fall in the crevice. Oh, Mama and Louie's gonna be fighting over this? Yeah. Does it swivel? Yeah, I can struggle it to get in. I don't need to pull it back. I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to get our cricket. Use our cricket. Now you got a place to put your cricket right in the corner. Get some felt. Awesome possum. And I can do my homework on it now. You can. It's your homework spot, huh? Mm -hmm. You better keep it clean. I'll kick your butt. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I learned because I'm just doing homework. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. And don't and if don't forget to subscribe and when you do, don't forget to click the bell so you that you get a notification every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at London Acres. A guide to modern home settings, so this is the Bye. Bye. Bye.